Hi folks, Steve here at Boss Brothers. Today we're going to take a closer look at a 2023 Alio uh, model 04 Evo. It's a brand new floor plan for 2023. We've got one here in the showroom. We're super excited about it. It's a true a family unit. It's got two bunks and a queen size bed. And a trailer that's 14 foot, 2 inch overall length. It's including the tongue and weighs 1,320 pounds. So, doesn't get much better than that. I'm very excited to show you what this little trailer is made of. First of all, it's probably one of the best constructed trailers I've ever seen uh, since I've been in this uh, in this business. It has a aluminum framing underneath. Her floor is actually an outdoor deck. It's three quarter inch plywood encased in fiberglass on all sides. It will never rot. It will never leak. Uh, her shell is all fiberglass, and from the sidewall to the roof it's like they're welded together the glue they actually use melts the fiberglass together so it's a product we think they're going to be on the road 50 years from now that's all good it's built so uh, let's go over some of those features because it's a very interesting floor plan at the front it's actually the same shell as all of the other o series trailer the only thing that differ is the interior so at the front we have a box for the battery and a spot for 20 pound propane tanks. Of course, it will come with one. They'll be full and there'll be a battery on there. We have a swivel tongue on the wheel. This is actually pretty light. You can move that in the driveway uh, just by pushing it around. It will come with four stabilizer jacks. We have our entry door that has a screen door in it. Power outlets. This actually comes right out so you can have a, an outlet in there and still have it closed. Our fenders are flexible, they'll never break unlike a lot of the plastic stuff we see on the industry. Uh, big tires, 14 inch wheel, this is an upgrade from Elio, it's an expensive upgrade, uh, but we decided to try it on this little Evo. Uh, it does come with an outside kitchen, interestingly, so this trailer is not equipped with a water system, the only water system there is is right here on the outside, so we thought it was a good idea to bring that in. And most people that doesn't think they're going to be using an outside kitchen when they look at other product after the summer they all come back and say oh my god this is a great feature to have so if you're not 100 percent sure trust me a summer and you'll be convinced so it does have um, <clears throat> the way the water connects right here to the side and same thing for um, the dirty water it comes right outside as well all you need to do is to add maybe a little piece of hose in a bucket and you're good Save that water, use it to put out the fire at night. They'll come with a one burner stove. It's actually a portable unit, kind of nice. <clears throat> at the back, everything is LED. All the lights are LED. So around the corner, we have another very large storage compartment. So perfect for, you know, things you may want to take with you, some chairs, a table, stuff like that. One of the features that I really like is this particular floor, because it's an outdoor deck, the water is not going to get soaked by any material in these trailers. There is no wood. So if you drop a spoon of water on this floor, it will be there forever. It's not going to go anywhere. And then if it rains, when you use the uh, your door, some of the water may fall inside the compartment. They added a little gutter just to trap that water that may run down. Never seen that before. So they're really, again, going above and beyond to make sure that uh, what they're building is better. A detachable power cord. It'll come with a 25-foot cord. Beautiful frameless windows. There's no frame around them. This one and the one on the other side opens as well. So there's great ventilation. You can get the door. A little bit of extra lights, but those two do not open. And then this trailer is equipped with a furnace. It's a propane furnace. It's four spare, so you do need 12 volt for it to run. But heat will come from the propane. On the interior, oh, one more feature on the tongue. This thing is equipped with a seven-way plug, meaning there is brake on this trailer. It's not necessary by law. It's way below um, the limit that you can build a trailer up as far as the GVWR is concerned. We're way below that, but they still put brakes on all of their uh, trailer, including a tiny little bed on the wheels that weighs 500 pounds. It still comes with brakes. So it's kind of nice. You don't have to use them. If you have a vehicle that's made it to tow a decent amount of weight, all you need to do is to put an adapter here and you're good to go. 
But if your vehicle is on the smaller side, like a CX-5 or an Escape or a RAV4, even the hybrid model, having a brake controller installed would be a good thing because then you'd be using the brake of the trailer. On the inside, nice little patio light. There's a switch on it as well. It's a little tight. I'm not going to lie. It's a, it's a very small trailer, but there is a very nice uh, prep surface here. There is a drawer. All the the press button here to keep everything locked in place pretty cool there is a microwave a little bit of storage below possibly a good spot to put all the shoes and sandals and it does comes with a domatic uh, domatic uh, hold on a second I got this locked here 12 volt cooler so milk juice box Whatever you're gonna need to go camping can all fit in here. You can actually take that outside if you want. Uh, take it on a picnic, you can put it in the back of the trunk if you want. But this is the cooler for this little unit. Great idea. The Matic is a, an awesome brand. Uh, we talked about the floor, three quarter inch encased in fiberglass. Our bunks, 25 inch across by 75 inch for the bottom one and 25 by 72 for the top one. So it is a little narrower, but uh, you know, it's like a three quarter inch bed, which not too long ago was the norm in mattress size. It comes with a pot of potty as well. You can take it outside if you want, move it to closer to the door, but it's there to use. It will save uh, the night trip. One of the features I really like in this guy is of course, this huge cabinet here with all the shelf and they're all adjustable. So you can move them up and down as you please and again uh, for such a little trailer you get a queen size bed uh, I, it's more like an RV queen so it's 60 inch across 74 inch in length so the length of a double but the width of a queen so the table will go down it gives you some uh, two extra cushion talking about the cushion um, there is a piece of wood in here uh, that's pretty much the only wood you're going to find in this trailer. This, the table, and the drawer construction. Actually, it's not even it's not even wood. It's um, a composite material, so it's great. So, yeah. In your cabinet here, there is no wood. It's all honeycomb. The construction is designed to be uh, very strong and very light. And this is how we're able to achieve those weight. Two LED lights, two intensity. So you can have them on low. And a max air fan, great unit, five speed, it's reversible. And there's even a automatic feature that <clears throat> it will keep the temperature in the trailer at 76 degrees Fahrenheit, about 21 and then some change uh, Celsius. Uh, this thing's so powerful that it will actually cool the unit down easily by eight, 10 degrees from what outside. Uh, the beauty of it, it runs on battery. They don't need to be plugged in. A lot of my Ilio customers are tenters and they're off-grid campers. They do not want to be in a campsite. A lot of them, you can, by all means, you got a plug on the outside, plug it in the shore power, and then you're, you're good to go. But if you're going, um, you know, somebody's cottage or off the grid, really off the grid, uh, you can still get the fan going. So folks, uh, a couple of other little things. There's a battery disconnect that's already installed. Uh, there's a lot of USB outlet. There's four here, there's two on the plug right here. Uh, it's uh, a pretty incredible little trailer. Furnace, so the thermostat, this is for your furnace. So I find that in the, uh, even in the summer, sometimes the nights gets a little chilly so you can get the furnace going and keep the temperature nice and cozy in there. Folks, I hope you like that video. If you have any questions, please give us a call. Better yet, still buy. I'll be happy to give you a tour. I think we've done it. Thanks for watching.